Hey guys, and, uh, and welcome back to NES ROM hacking. <laughs> so, yeah, I have hiccups. Right now, I'll I'll be showing you how to edit the te the text in NES games. Also, this coin blowing is a little distracting. <laughs> These hiccups are annoying, but I'll tell you how to edit the text. Like, you can even, you can even, you, you can even use a, ta a table layer if you want. So, like, letter M is, you know what, let's use table layer. To make this easier, mm. these hiccups are still kind of getting annoying, and so is this coin egg going on and off. So here's the table layer. So if you want to and click on, uh, uh, you want to enter the auto numbers in the. Auto alphabet uh, uh, uppercase, and if uh, you do this to an NES game that like has in lowercase letters, sorry, these hiccups are annoying. If you do this to a game that has lowercase letters too, then you also have to enter lowercase uh, letters. So. Then you have to click save. Mm. You enter the name of your file. Oh. Sorry, these hiccups are so. Oh, yeah, if you don't know how to enter those, you might. So, like, if you don't know, like, how to enter these, you hold shift and then you press it. And if you hold shift and then press the letter, it makes it uppercase. Okay. Oh, okay, so then you click save. Now the name is still Mario and we want it to be spiny. And the problem is you can only fit F five letters in here. But the good thing that the name Spiny has five letters, so so we're safe with that. So we want to load a table file. Uh, you can even just click a random file if you want. And like it shows all the text. I hear some text. So we want this. So we're gonna enter. So we're gonna enter spiny. So now once you reset the game, it will be spiny. So there you go. And that's it for now.